In this video, I'm going to show you how to use interceptors in your API calls. Interceptors allow you to intercept calls prior to sending the request or returning the response. Now, unless you're a large development team with specific requirements for API management, you probably don't need interceptors. And even if you need to modify requests or responses, you can already do that in the action flow editor and with custom code. But if your organization requires them, let me show you how they work. You can create an interceptor in the advanced settings of either an individual API call or group API calls. When you'll create one, you'll get a pop-up like this, and after you save it, you can access it in the custom code module in custom actions. Now, when you create an interceptor, Flutterflow provides you boilerplate code with onRequest and onResponse functions. So before the requests are executed, the onRequest function will run, and before the response is returned, the onResponse function will run. Each of these functions has to return an object, an options object for the onRequest function, and and a response object for the onResponse function. For the onRequest function, the options object contains the following fields. The headers and params field can be set directly. For instance, if you want to check the auth token for session management, you can directly set your authorization header. Otherwise, you'll need to instantiate the API calls options class. So here, I'm using the encrypt package to handle encryption of my request body and decryption of the response. The onResponse function provides both the response object as well as a retry function that will re-execute the original call with the initial options. This this allows you to easily handle transient failures like network connectivity problems, server overload, or timeouts, as well as rate limiting and token expiration. For instance, here I'm checking for a 429 rate limiting status code and applying an exponential back off logic for the retry timing. When using multiple interceptors, each interceptor's on request method is executed in sequence, allowing each one to modify the request options or perform actions before the actual network call. The second interceptor receives the request options as modified by the first, allowing it to build upon or change these modifications. After the API call completes, the on response method of these interceptors are executed in reverse order giving each interceptor a chance to process or alter the response. And that is interceptors in Flutterflow.